Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are joined by Dr. Bonnie Ring. So excited to have her here. Uh, sad to hear that this is our last podcast for today. Doesn't mean goodbye. It means what? See you next time. <laughs> I've learned so much from you. The, her, the compassion, the amazing life career this woman has had and all she does and continues to do is just beautiful. So first and foremost, uh, we are so honored to have you as our woman of the year and uh, you will be missed, but hopefully you'll be back soon. So please tell us a little bit about what you do. And for today's conversation, we'll get started. Um, I, I have, I wear many hats. Mm-hmm. And you usually mention them. So I'll, since you didn't, I will, Jill. Um, I'm a psychologist and I'm about to celebrate 50 years of working as a psychologist. So that's pretty exciting. And I'm also an Episcopal priest and a spiritual director. I've been trained to do spiritual direction. And that's with people who just are concerned about what lies beyond and what kind of relationship could they have with the divine not doesn't necessarily depend upon a religious denomination or Mm -hmm. um and i'm a teacher uh mostly adult educator and i love to work with people people who are all sorts of kinds and differences um i especially work with women because i am one but i certainly have lots of clients who are gay men, heterosexual men, um, families, um, couples, both same sex and opposite sex couples. So that's kind of how I spend my time. And I thought for today that I would talk a little bit about different kinds of therapy so that I could leave you with some insight as to what might be helpful in the future if you need a therapist. And I think um, starting with the notion that we all run into difficulty sometime. It's not not a a sign that you're defective. It's a sign Mm -hmm. that you're recognizing when you have trouble. And sometimes that trouble appears as anxiety and you get difficult dreams you get um, panic attacks, you get um, wor- endless worry, and, um, and, and the most effective technique, I think, for anxiety is what they call cognitive behavior therapy. And what that is, is you pay attention to what you think, because what you think determines what you feel. So if you think that um, the world is ending, you're going to be panicky. If you think that um, you're going to run out of money, you're going to get scared. If you think that you're a terrible person, you're going to have difficulty relating to others. So cognitive therapy pays attention to what you say to yourself about yourself and gives you alternative thoughts mm. to have that are more positive, yeah. more constructive, and less damaging. And I think it's amazing how much our feelings are determined by what we say to ourselves. Mm. For instance, I have one client who was told as a young girl that she was um, a special needs person and that um, she has difficulty coping. And so as soon as she experiences difficulty, she just stops what she's doing. Wow. Doesn't go to work. She stays, she sleeps, sleeps in. Um, and it's all because she is telling herself, I can't, I can't. And then I won't. So um paying attention to what you think and seeing somebody who specializes in cognitive behavior therapy is a very good thing to do. The second thing that I think people go to therapy for is depression. Sometimes it gets serious enough to include suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. And 
Um, there's a new uh, crisis line called 988. And if you're feeling like you're in a crisis, call them. It's free. It's 24 hour availability. You don't need to be alone in crisis. You need uh, to be with somebody that will help you and support you and encourage you. Um, the other thing about depression, if it's not suicidal, but it's deep and it's constant or recurring, is that uh, there about 50% of people do not respond well to antidepressants. Really? That is a huge number. The, the quotes are anywhere between 30% and 50%. But I've seen so many people who just did not affect, antidepressants were only minimally effective, if effective at all. And, 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 and depression can affect everything you do. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 it dampens oh. your desire to do anything positive and it crushes you. And so there's a very new form of therapy um, for depression and it's called, um, wait a minute, I'm gonna write, say the right kind of things. Um, it's for people who are treat what they call treatment resistance, and there are there are two forms. One is is called um, ketamine, and it's a, a psychedelic drug that has a fairly lo long life, mm -hmm. but it requires a, a an experienced therapist to work with you yep. as you relive your traumas. And the other form of therapy that one of my clients has just done, it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation or TMS. Wow. And they put a little thing on around your head to stimulate your brain. And the work the work began with people who had trouble sleeping. And we can we can kind of um adjust the brain so that it's it calms down and, and you can sleep better. But now we've discovered that if you stimulate the brain in particular places, that it's very effective with resistant depression. And um, in any major city, you can find somebody who is experienced in TMS. Um, not all insurance companies cover it, but it's becoming more and more acceptable. And um, it's it's really exciting that both of these two treatments, ketamine and TMS, um, have either with antidepressants or alone can make a huge difference in your life. And that's what we want. We want a difference in our lives. If our lives aren't working for us, we want to change them. And having the power to do that and taking it seriously. I've talked a few times in this podcast about Prince Harry's book, Shame. Uh, um, uh, Spare. I haven't read it yet. I'm, uh, I'm and, dying and one to of the read reasons it. why I suggested is because he's he's a known person. And when his mother died at the age of 12, he thought she had voluntarily disappeared because uh, life was so miserable. And he kept waiting for her to come back and rescue him. Hmm. And he got more and more um, depressed and more and more uh, driven by panic. Wow. He, he went into the armed services. And of course, he was threatened physically every day. Uh, he was one time he was uh, um, a helicopter pilot. And, um, you know, you fly low and you get close to uh, all kinds of weaponry. And so I urge people to read that book because it makes you feel like, oh, if it happened to him, it could happen to me. And yeah. He and he went and finally, his brother suggested therapy to him. And he went and saw a therapist. And he's very um, uh, strong advocate of therapy because it helped him so much. And of course, it allowed him to free himself from his 
conflicted life as a as a monarch mm -hmm. um or at least a part monarch as a prince and um i i just i think there are other books that are really good. I Never Told Anyone is a book about a woman who was um, abused as a child. And childhood sexual abuse and childhood physical abuse is very, very common, especially among parents who themselves were abused. They tend to carry it on. Mm -hmm. um, there's another new therapy that is looking at your genes to see if they can determine ahead of time which wow. drugs will work more effectively than others. It's got a fancy name that I can't remember, but um, uh, it's uh, it, it it looks at, it uses gene therapy. Mm -hmm. and, um, then there's, then there's the, um, one of the ones that I do a lot and, um, and, and others are even more expert than me. It's called EMDR. And that means um, emotional eye movement, excuse me, eye movement, E, M, D, um, deconditioning and recovery. And um, it came from a woman by the name of Francine Shapiro, Shapiro in California. And she discovered that when your eyes went back and forth, that it led to bilateral stimulation of your brain. Really? And if you take, and you can just tap on your knees, left, right, left, right, left, right, or you can tap this way, left, right, left, right. And think about a trauma. Mm -hmm. And then think about the people who care about you and bring them into your memory of the trauma and continuing to go left, right, left, right, you can you can get a new response to that trauma. Uh, sometimes it takes many sessions. Sometimes it happens immediately. Um, and it's a very exciting new form of therapy. It, it has to be, you have to be trained in it. And um, the person that I respect the most is Laurel Parnell. She's mm -hmm. written several books on EMDR. And attachment theory and um she's a very fine therapist herself she's in the bay area um so th those are some of the things i i think that um having the 988 number in your mm -hmm. head as a um security blanket is just terrific it's brand new um there used to be hotlines of various sorts. This one is national and it's trained. The people who answer the phone are trained crisis responders. Mm -hmm. So they will not get upset by whatever you say. Um, and they will help you through the crisis that you're in until you're in a situation where you either have more support around you or the crisis has passed. Um I would like to uh, add that therapy is a good thing. And you don't have to be crazy mm -hmm. to so true. find it useful. It can be useful at any new stage in life where you're learning new skills and you're a little scared or you're, you've hit a bump in the road and you're really disappointed and you're dealing with sadness and depression. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a connection with another human being where you can say everything that you feel instead of hiding it. And I think a lot of us spend a lot of time and a lot of energy hiding our emotions instead of exploring them. And if we explore them, we can learn to control them and manage them right. and learn what the sources of the stress are mm -hmm. allow us to do different things that will be more helpful to ourselves. So um, I want to I, I leave you with the feeling 
that therapy is a good thing. Yeah. And therapists are trained to help. They listen well. They tell you what they hear. Mm -hmm. You may not even be conscious that you're communicating. And um, they help you develop new skills so that you are less prone to the ricochet effects of your emotions. But you can think through what will be good for me given how I'm feeling now. And then do it. Yes. So um, I also want to say thank you. Thank you to the public news broadcasting network. Um, thank you. And to you, Jill, especially for being my companion for these <laughs> many, many weeks. Uh, ditto, ditto, to, ditto. To Steve Simons for selecting me as Woman of the Year and and suggesting these podcasts uh it's been a it's been a rich experience for me and i appreciate the opportunity to do it and i hope i hope that some of the things i've said will stick with you and keep you in a healthy mentally healthy way oh, they sure will and sure do i just um yeah this is fascinating because we've been doing this for how many weeks now my goodness um months I, now i've gotten to know I, you I said september so i feel like you're a friend you are a friend oh. well, you know how to call me jill 650-560-8590 i love I'll it answer, or you can email me at dr bonnie ring at comcast.net or you can go to my website and learn more about me at dr bonnie no, oh, well, we still got five more minutes together. Let me ask you, holidays are coming. Could you talk about something else? Let's see. Like yes. what else? Yeah. Well, I think talking about coping with the holidays mm -hmm. is a good idea. Um, people tend to get really depressed over holidays if there's no family or friends around. And um, one of the things that I like to do is I like to have a Christmas dinner for people who don't have family. Mm. Okay. And um, we give each other little presents and we have a wonderful dinner and we enjoy the Christmas tree and Christmas music. Um, and if you're a Jewish, then there's Hanukkah. And I think that's starting next week, actually, mm -hmm. or this week. Um, and there's some beautiful menorahs that are now very contemporary and modern uh, where you can light a candle for each of the eight nights. And then there's... Um, uh, Kwanzaa for African Americans, uh, a celebration of the holidays, and mm -hmm. uh, there's also some Muslim ho holidays at this time of year. So, if you want to be attached to a religion, then that's a good alternative. But I think it's also possible just to celebrate life. That this is the beginning of a new year coming up, and in fact. Uh, in the Christian calendar, it begins on Sunday with Advent, the first Sunday of Advent. Um, but whether it's Advent and then church year or New Year's Eve and New Year's Day in the in the Roman year, um, these are times where um, if you're feeling lonely mm -hmm. and you're feeling unwanted, mm -hmm. that it takes some effort to reach out to somebody who might be friendly towards you yeah. and who might enjoy going for coffee or having a glass of wine or having dinner out or just taking a walk together. Mm. And um, one of the things I experienced for the first time this year was my church uh, participates in Adopt a Family at Christmas. Okay. And a friend said she was going to buy the presents instead of giving money. Oh. And asked for. It. And so I just said, well, if you will take me shopping with you, I will do it too. We spent hours at Target on Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Good time. And I'm looking forward. I don't know this person. I probably will never meet this person. But she's going to have a sweatshirt with sparkles on it. And she's going to have knee-high socks. And she's going to have warm pajamas. And she's going to have a nice blanket and some towels. So that's another thing to do at this time of year is to 
give to others. It will mm -hmm. enrich your life. Oh, yeah, my son brought home a piece of paper. It's called the act of giving, uh, uh, act of kindness. So we have to do acts of kindness. I got to take pictures of him doing it. And so today he doesn't know this, but I'm going to pick him up from school early and, um, you know, ask him to bring maybe his grampy a donut or a coffee or do something to make someone smile. So I we'll see how that wonderful. goes. Yes, yeah. It's gift giving Tuesday. So a lot um, of charities are asking for money today. I didn't realize that. Yes, yes. You, you had Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. Wow. All right. Gosh, good. Thank you for telling me that. Yeah. Your son might like to know that, too. Oh, I'm going to let him. Of course. Oh, my goodness. So this is great to know. He would like to put some of his allowance into. Oh, my goodness. This is a great idea. Thank yeah. you. Oh, right. I love it. Thank you. Well, pleasure having you here as always. Dr. Bonnie Ring, remind us how we could reach you. 650-560-8590. Dr. Bonnie Ring at Comcast.com. Oh, well, keep in touch. Happy holidays. Thank and you. And really looking forward to the next time we get to connect, okay? You're a special lady. Thank no, you. No, so are you. Thank you so much. I'm going to meet you one of these days, too. I told you that a million times. I'm coming out because it looks so beautiful. I would give anything to live on the West Coast. In the meantime, I just get to talk to someone who lives there. But that's okay. It'll happen. Be well. Thank you. You, too. Have a great day. Bye, honey. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.